If you want to make your website pop with an eye-catching animation that doesn't slow your website down, then Divi 5 Lottie module is your secret weapon. This awesome tool lets you add lightweight, dynamic animations to your pages, turning heads and keeping visitors hooked. From hero sections to 404 pages, the Lottie module in Divi 5 makes it super easy to add professional flair without any coding. And in this video, we are diving deep into everything you need to know about Divi 5's Lottie module, its feature, setup, customization, and how you can use it across different scenarios. So ready to animate your site like a pro? Then let's dive in. My name is Ankit and you are watching Elegant Themes YouTube channel, the makers of the Divi Visual Builder. Now if you want to deep dive and learn more about it, we have created a complete blog post that we are going to link in the video description below. So once you are done with this video, I would highly recommend that you go ahead and check out our blog post. I'm sure you will find it really helpful. Well, it's a lightweight JSON based animation that renders as scalable vectors, delivering crisp, smooth visuals without the bulky file size of videos or maybe GIFs. Think vibrant graphics that looks great on any screen from phone to desktops without dragging any site's performance. Divi5's Lottie module brings these animations right into the Divi Visual Builder, letting you add dynamic touches like spinning icons and flowing backgrounds in just a few clicks. It's a perfect way to make your site feel modern and engaging while keeping everything fast and effective. So ready to add some animation magic? Then let's dive in into our visual builder and let me show you everything step by step. All right, so let's see how we can add a Lottie animation on this page where we have different services. So for that, we need a Lottie animation file. So there are various websites where you can download these Lottie animations. And I'm just going to use this website called Lord Icon. So let's go ahead and find some icons here. So let's say we are going to choose something like this, uh, the gradient one. So let's browse this icon family. So here are some icons that we can use. So I'm just going to use that. So let's say for web design, we are going to use this icon. So I'll click on this. And here we can change the color scheme and we can also do some animation effects. But I'll leave it as it is and we have different export options. We can export it as a Lottie file or maybe a GIF or MP4. But we need a Lottie animation file so we click on this. And we are going to click on download. And here we have downloaded the file. And once the file is downloaded, let's come back here in our WordPress backend and let's click on add module. And here is the Lottie module that we need to add. So let's click on this. And here is the default Lottie animation that we can see. So here is an option. So if you take a look at the right hand side, we have the option to upload our JSON file. So let's click on upload. And let's select the file to upload it from your computer. And here we can see we are not allowed to upload JSON file. So let's fix that first. To make sure that we can upload JSON file on our WordPress website, we can either add a code snippet or we can add a plugin. So I'm just going to add a plugin here to make it a non-code approach. So there is a plugin called filed upload type that we need to add here. So this is the plugin that we need to add. So let's click on this and let's activate the plugin now let's go to the plugin settings let's click on settings from here and here we will search for json so this is the json file extensions so let's click on enable from here and then click on save settings and that's it let's come back here to our page let's save everything as draft and let's refresh this page. Now let's click on the Lottie module and let's try to upload once again. All right, this time we are able to upload our JSON file and let's click on upload to add it in the library. And boom, we have the JSON file added here. And now we have various options that we can play around with. First, we have the trigger animation. We can keep it on load, on view, on hover, on click or scroll to animation to create some advanced effect. But I'm going to leave it as on load. 
and maybe we can loop animation so this lottie animation will keep on a loop and we can increase or decrease the speed from here then if there is any movement in the lottie animation you can control it from here maybe for forward or backward so the animation will become backwards if we choose backward option from here then we have the play mode so right now it is set to normal if we set to bounce this is how it's going to change a little bit so it will have a bounce effect in this and if you go to design and click on sizing so let's reduce the size of this a little bit so we will be using pixel here and we will make it somewhere around 150 and we will align this to center something like this and now this looks much better now in the same way we can go ahead and add rest of the other lottie animations on this page so this is how we can add other lottie animations on this page so we have just duplicated the first one and then we are just going to update the lottie animation so i'm just going to upload few more and now we have the three lottie animations added on this section so this is how easy it is to add lottie animation using divi 5 lottie module now one thing to note here is that you cannot change the color inside divi visual builder but most lottie platforms let you customize colors before downloading them in seconds your page is busting with flares Now the Lottie module is a game changer for all kind of pages. Let's explore some real world ways to use them on your TV website. Number one, contact pages. You can go ahead and spice up your contact page by looping a Lottie animation module next to your business hours or phone numbers. For example, a subtle animation phone icon can draw attention to your contact info, creating an inviting vibe that boosts engagement. Go ahead and set the animation to loop and trigger it on load for a lively performance friendly touch that keeps your visitors interested. Number two, 404 pages. Now turn those boring 404 errors into some fun moments. Add spinning compass or animated search icon to your 404 pages with a short message. Set it to loop and trigger on load to grab attention. This transforms a dead end page into a creative touch point that keeps users smiling and engaged. Number three, featured products. Now highlight your WooCommerce products with Lottie animations. Place a scale badge animation next to a featured product to make it stand out. Set the trigger to on load so it catches the eye instantly as the browser loads. This adds a vibrant professional flair to your e-commerce website, drawing attention to deals without slowing down your site. Next is service sections. Now bring your service sections to life with animation that reflects your offering. For a marketing agency, a looping icon for service like SEO design and set the view trigger to active as user scroll and adjust the speed to match your brand's tone. This creates a dynamic polished presentation that screams professionalism. Then comes hero sections. Now go ahead and make your hero sections unforgettable with bold lottie animations. And smooth backgrounds animation like flowing particles behind your rows using Divi's position setting and set it to trigger on load with a bounce play mode for instant impact. This adds depth and energy to your website, setting the perfect tone right from the very beginning. Now Divi5's Lottie module is packed with features that make animations a breeze. Let's break down what makes it so special. Number one, ease of use. Now the Lottie module is super beginner friendly, so you don't have to be a coding wizard to add pro level animations to your website. And with platforms like Lottie Files and Lord Icon offering tons of free and premium animations from subtle loaders to bold graphics, sourcing all these animation is a breeze. If in case you want something unique, then you can go ahead and create your own using Adobe After Effects with the Body Move plugin to export JSON files that work perfectly with Divi. So whether you grab a pre-made animation or craft your own, adding it to your site made by Divi Visual Builder is quick and painless. Now customization is where the Lottie module shines. You can control when animation starts with triggers like load, viewpoint entry, hover, on click, on scroll and so on. Enable loop animation for continuous playback. Tweak animation speed, choose direction forward or backward and pick normal or bounce to play mode to match your vibe. 
And these options let you create interactive, engaging experiences that feels just right for your site. Now to use Lottie animations, you will need to upload JSON files. Since WordPress doesn't support JSON uploads by default, you got two easy options. Number one, you can add PHP snippets to your child themes function.php for a lightweight, secure solution. Or you can add a plugin like file upload type for a no code approach. Either way, you will be able to upload a JSON animation in no time. Check out our support article to get your DV5 site JSON ready. We will link that in the video description below. Now, DV5 Lottie module is your key to adding lightweight dynamic animations that make your site stand out. With its seamless visual builder integration, flexible control and endless creative possibilities, it's never been easier to bring motion to your design. From contact pages to hero sections, the Lottie module delivers professional flair without sacrificing any performance. So ready to animate your site? Download DV5 Public Alpha today and grab some Lottie files and check out our blog post for more details. Let's bring your website alive using Divi5. And if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community. And for more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.